سو دو آدم مرکلی به نام جکینی تشریگ تلاده دی تورنتو آنی گو آشکر گوشر. Today our viewers are going to be speaking in English and somewhat Somali. We have a young activist for environment and someone who is who has her undergrad in environmental studies and she focuses on many tasks as far as sustainability, environment, and she's the president of Regenesis. Shadia. Welcome on Harmaka TV. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Shadia Aidid, you are doing a lot of things, and I met you while you're doing one of the events, holding some one of the events at York University campus. Please tell me a little bit more about Regenesis as an organization, and then your involvement with Regenesis. Yeah, absolutely. So um, Regenesis um, is an initiative we mainly focus on sustainability uh, on campuses, university campuses. Uh, the Regenesis that I'm a part of is at York University and it's where I started. And essentially what we do is we try to empower students as initiators of change, as ambassadors for the environment and to make our planet better, um, but in a very accessible way and that's mainly on a local level. So community engagement and um, bringing things like where we, where we met at the farmer's market and yes. um, to to the to the student population because we believe like students really are like the caucus of change and the youth are yes. the ones who are gonna be here later mm -hmm. um, so yeah so we just do a bunch of really cool initiatives there yeah. my main involvement is I started off like just volunteering in the undergrad like I've been a part of the organization for like almost like for around four and a half years now um, yeah. like throughout my undergrad and like yeah. now as I graduated as well and so um, yeah just just went shifted through all these initiatives and as a student I'm just like really like was very eager and like wanting to like really take what I learned in the classroom out of there and mm -hmm. like doing something like giving back in a way yes. and that's how I started at Regenesis yeah. Um, so yeah so right now I do events and communication specifically at York and mm -hmm. then I'm the president of Regenesis which is the overarching chapter which we have based yeah. at York and U of T and mm -hmm. all the chapters at, uh, the campuses at U of T like Scarborough and Mississauga yeah. Waterloo Ryerson like we're pretty we're growing nice. so nice. it's fantastic uh, <laughs> so for somebody who's watching us today mm -hmm. and uh, they think about the issues uh, that impact environment, for example, it gets overwhelming. Yeah. What are the, some of the small steps that people can take that you can advise them to uh, in order to save the environment and to put uh, to basically get a better environment for our yeah. future generations yeah, to come. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, honestly, like the list is so long. Yeah. <laughs> like there's so much that people can do, but like. Um, I guess like like doing if something like just thinking about your daily life in mm -hmm. ways that you can um, be more sustainable. So like when it comes to spending money, like if you're spending money at corporations, you're spending a money on like big companies that are actually ruining our environment. That's mm -hmm. not the best way to spend your dollar because you're supporting these organizations. Yeah. Whereas if you're supporting like local vendors, people in your community, helping them come up, mm -hmm. um, such as you know shopping at a farmers market or a food market, yeah. um, such as the one that we have at York University. That's one huge step like mm -hmm. buying your food local yeah. um, not buying produce that's sustainable right not buying watermelon in the winter time right yes, like it does you not know grow. exactly yeah. so um, things like that when it comes to that front when mm -hmm. it comes to like shopping like if people like want to buy new clothes yeah. and shoes and all these things and yeah. it's like one it's like you know you should be like a little bit less more, more minimalist in your life like of course it feels good sometimes, of course you need it sometimes, but sometimes mm -hmm. we shop so much we don't think yes. about the production cost of all that, right? We don't think about the sweatshop labor that went to yeah. what you're, what the clothes like that you're wearing. How did this end up on how the, did, yeah, the store? Yeah, like, and even the carbon classes, footprint yeah. that that is involving, right? Mm -hmm. Like, um, and so 
yeah, so like thinking about like critically about where do where do the things that you yeah. use on the daily come from? Yeah. It's a huge part. Um, when it comes to like your transportation, mm -hmm. as much you know, as much as sometimes, like especially the old generation, don't like <laughs> leaving yeah. their cars, but taking a walk outside, mm -hmm. not having to drive all the time, you know, yeah. riding your bicycle. Like we are opening a bike shop, inshallah. That's, that's amazing. I'm, in glad, the spring. I'm glad you brought it up because and, yeah. biking. Uh, that's important and we see how the city of Toronto is taking that initiative where uh, more, like, basically more bike lanes, more bike lanes yeah. are being uh, uh, and then more transit uh, is building mm -hmm. throughout the city mm -hmm. so we can avoid uh, the gas administration. So, and avoid uh, traffic, the, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Traffic is terrible. You don't traffic is terrible in the city. <laughs> um, so yeah, please talk about the initiative that's coming up with the, yeah, uh, the bike shop. shop. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, we, yeah, it's a huge project we've taken on and it's our newest one which is basically our community bike shop or bike center and they're we are basically um, getting people off their off their cars, off like, even transit. When it comes to that, like thinking, if you're taking like a real quick ride somewhere, trying to get from point A to point B, cycling is actually very fast, mm -hmm. super healthy for you. Yes, obvi obviously sustainable. You're not have pollu polluting anything polluting there. The environment, um, you don't need yeah, and it's actually it's such a fun too, way. Right? Yes, yeah. it's so affordable. Yeah. Like imagine how much you spend in like all these other transportation things yes. that basically by one time it lasts you for years. Yeah. Um, and on, on, on addition to like affordability is that we help people fix bikes. So yeah. we teach people how to fix their own bikes, giving them the skills to learn how to do that, yeah. as well as That's renting awesome. bikes, yeah. renting bikes for like, like bare none, like a couple dollars, maybe not even, mm -hmm. and uh, renting them to ride in your community. Yeah. Um, we can be also offer like workshops, like so all these you know, exciting all these, like, things. Yeah, and that's, inshallah, it's all gonna be mm -hmm. in the bike center when yeah. it opens. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's like one of our like hopefully yeah. in the spring it should be opening at the university. Yeah, that's good. Um, and obviously like uh, if you even if you're not directly a part of that universe like that community like North York, down to Heights area, yes. um Jane Finch area, like mm -hmm. you can benefit, you can still come visit, get your bike fixed and then yeah. ride your bike somewhere else as well. Yeah. So Because yeah. that's that's one of the things uh, most of these initiatives with the bike shop and stuff, they're usually centered in downtown Toronto exactly. uh, around the central uh, of the city. Mm -hmm. uh, where like in Etobicoke we, we have bigger streets but they yeah. they're there's no bike lanes with, here. No bike lanes. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, no. Yeah, it's not accessible. So, so um, accessibility is is one thing mm -hmm. uh, that that can encourage people to do that. Mm -hmm. Tell me um, about you as Shadia. Mm -hmm. Like, I uh, do you like since since your undergrad is environmental studies, yeah. and you know like the broader issues of environmental studies. Um, how do you advocate besides being the president of Regenesis? How do you advocate daily and uh, just within the family? We're talking about earlier yeah. how some stuff. Yeah. Even just your family, like honestly, yeah, yeah like I thought you said that, like starting with your family is yeah. like the <laughs> best place to start because mm -hmm. it's like you know these people, you know what their critics critiques are going to be, yeah. you know why they don't do certain things. Mm -hmm. So like starting at home is the best, best, best place, yeah. um, especially when it comes to like the older generation as well, right? Where um, they're used to a certain way of living, they're used to like relying on certain things, and it's like um, us that are you are younger, we're like thinking, oh no, these are the alternatives. These mm -hmm. are all the alternatives to doing A, B, C, and D. Mm -hmm. Um, and like even like honestly, you it's really rewarding when you see like say like your aunt is going grocery yeah. shopping and she brings like a reusable bag yes. or like yeah. when, you know we're like <laughs> so like doing <laughs> exactly yeah. yeah and like or where it's like you and your friends are gonna go thrift shopping mm -hmm. and buy things that are secondhand mm -hmm. because just be, instead of like going to the mall and buying yeah. things that are overpriced and really on such a labor and all these mm -hmm. other things mm -hmm. um, and like really like having people like for another really fun initiative that we have is like around accessibility is a free store mm -hmm. and there we um basically everything's free yeah. so like you come in you take up to certain amount of items and like you take it home with you but yeah. then we very highly encourage people donating Exchanging. things oh, so like yeah so yeah. bringing your electronics your clothes your mm -hmm. books your textbooks especially oh, that's great. Yeah. like and then bringing that there and so like i always my family i'm always like collecting things for them to take yeah. to the free store because yeah. they don't need any more recycle like, let the things, recycling yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. and so yeah. like and it's really great because like since I'm involved in these things, like you can slowly see the seeds like being dropped, like mm. <laughs> either it's like either not, not eating so much meat in the week or um, like, yeah, walking places and mm. little very small steps that you need to take. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do it. You don't have to like, 
um, be a hippie to be environmental, <laughs> right? You don't to be yeah, doing you something drastic. Exactly. Like, you don't have to I'm be like, off super minimalist. And all that, yeah. yeah, you don't yeah. need to be doing that. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You don't mm-hmm. live in a tiny home. Like yeah, all you can the way you can live sustainably the way you're living now by mm-hmm. just really like pinpointing where what do I do every day and maybe stepping like doing one step like okay yeah. this part of my life um, I think I can do away with doing this and this and incorporating something environment or something sustainable. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Dao uh, Diashin, our viewers, we're gonna go on a very small commercial break for now and we'll come back with discussion with uh, Shadia uh, Aidid. Thank you, please come back. This Boxing Week, Tawakal Furniture is your place for amazing deals. And Tawakal Furniture has a wide selection anywhere from living room, bedroom, dinette. We got it. You need it. You find it. It's just like it's just like a mini mall. Hey hey, you heard me. Honey, at four one six seven three two four six three nine. Tawakal Furniture is having a great sale, up to seventy percent off this Boxing Week Tawakal Furniture. Dawa di ashen. We came back uh, with the discussion with Shadia Aidid uh, with the uh, food market and uh, environmental uh, things that we can do to sustain a better environment. Uh, Shadia, um, you know, like what I do is usually uh, if I'm not using that room, I turn off the light. Mm. I think this is like uh, everyday people what they can do on their daily living, uh, things that steps they can take. Or when I'm washing the dishes, I try to minimize the amount of water. water. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So please uh, talk about how uh, people can do steps like that in yeah. order to at home. Yeah. yeah. So like yeah, definitely at home. Like yeah, you see so much water waste, especially like I'm glad you brought that up. Like mm-hmm. like taking a shower for an hour because it feels nice and you <laughs> yeah, feel like a nice warm. Good. It does feel nice. <laughs> or like and like yeah, letting the faucet run when you do will do like. It's so terrible, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's actually so unsustainable. Yeah. 
and it's such a waste of water if you come even from like a spiritual yeah. point of view like um, Dini and even yes mm -hmm, yeah. like right. technically like even when especially when you're doing something as spiritual as we do when we do and you're like mm -hmm. letting the tap run while you like you know pat yourself and like get dry like no like you should be very very conscious about how much water you use the same yes. way you're conscious about like being sustainable and the way I'm trying to encourage everyone yeah. else to yeah. right yeah. Um, like if you think about even like people like mm -hmm. People, indigenous First Nations communities in yes. Canada, like there's so many communities that don't have access to clean water mm -hmm. or even have safe water to like have a shower with. Yeah. And you know, I'm kind of being preachy in that way, but like honestly, like mm -hmm. we really need to be more critical about like literally like how like how how good we have yeah. it yeah. and how detrimental it is, right? Mm -hmm. To like being so wasteful. And our actions also impact yeah. the 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 bigger environment because exactly. then we have people on the other end, like the far right that tell you you know what this whole environment issues is not important fake news there's no such a thing <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that, that just uh, alone because people that don't believe that their actions every day impact the environment whatsoever mm -hmm. and they will tell you that uh, this is a whole like this is like what if yeah. one is one person yeah what's what's what up was one what's person a big gonna do yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah i get that all the time right like <laughs> <laughs> literally like all the time like yeah. i started um like getting passionate about the environment like when I was in high school mm -hmm. and I I really honestly got really involved in groups when I went to university just because like I was bored of just being in the classroom yeah and I was like well, what group can I join but mm -hmm. like definitely like when I was in high school I was like uh, when they're like oh what do you want to study what do you want to do with your life and yeah. I'm just like oh, I just want to save the world Aww. I just want to help people <laughs> I want to like help our earth That's I want to help the animals like oh, hey, I was lot. very yeah. <laughs> I was very idealistic and yes, I'm like yeah. I just want to do everything like very optimistic yeah, in the way you, exactly. you can actually save the world exactly. but and then environment is it, that's <laughs> literally <laughs> yeah I found yeah. it and I was like this is what I need yeah. and like even when I was in like in my undergrad I was thinking mm, I'm gonna like think about I did, I did environmental politics at first mm -hmm. and I was like I want to like do policy change. Maybe I want to become a lawyer. I want to do these yeah. things. And then I'm like, yeah. definitely yes. We need people like that. We need mm -hmm. those things. But at the same time, we need people who on are like ground. on yeah. the ground, mm -hmm. on the community level, yeah. and empowering each other. Like yes, your yeah. neighbors, your family, your yeah. communities. Right? Mm -hmm. Like teaching people like not thinking so narrow-minded and mm -hmm. thinking like being open about how we can ourselves make impact change right yes. and really just yeah like empowering people right exactly so like i really and i'm also an artist so it's like it's always oh, like amazing. little things like i always believe like if you're like if you connect mm -hmm. to somebody and you yeah. connect somebody on like a an emotional or um intellectual level like mm -hmm. they will mm -hmm. they will understand they will be on board yes so and the environment is very even when it comes to like politics like mm -hmm. It's a very neutral thing. People are like, either they like, yeah, sure, I definitely can. Nobody's really, I mean, again, people who yeah. believe that it doesn't make the carbon or like global warming isn't a thing yes. or climate change is fake. Yeah. Like, there's, there's, there's that select few, which is very few, right? Very few, but, yeah. Yeah. And it's also driven by a corporate greed, right? And like, mm -hmm. you know, corporations mm -hmm. trying to like give their dollars to politicians, obviously. Yeah. But definitely when it comes to like the regular person, it's they're not like against the environment. They're not like gonna be yes. protesting like environment <laughs> is wrong, like don't save it. Like don't save the environment. You know, don't. people don't do that. Or use as much gas like yeah, exactly. yeah, exactly. It's more yeah. so it's like an inconvenience. It's more so yeah. it's like I don't really wanna ride my bike. It's so much easier to try. Yeah. I don't want to like, think it, about what I'm buying. It comes from a place of privilege. Yes. Because yes. for you to have a car, to uh, use that car, then it's, it's going to cost you money. Mm -hmm. So it, it gives a certain lifestyle that people got used to and they're Absolutely. not willing to change. But but it's small changes that people can make individually yeah. that will impact the environment. Exactly. Like, in, in, the, in the bigger scheme. Yeah. Um, I believe so because yeah. even it's like, if you're looking at like something like yeah, bringing a reusable bag or making your own like soap and mm -hmm. beauty with toothbrush case and whatever else, or um, if you're looking at these little things, it's you can still criticize it and saying that technically the air pollution is still going to be at this level if 10% of the population does this, does right? This, it's yeah. true. That's mm -hmm. that may be true, but mm -hmm. it's I think a more powerful thing is that people are being intentional about these things yes, yeah. and recognizing that this yeah. is cause of to an issue. Mm -hmm. And the more people do that, the more they encourage other people to think that way. Yeah. It's like you're going to not only think about this in, okay, what I'm buying, what's the soap I'm buying, but okay, I'm going to think about it in every aspect of my in life. Every aspect, I'm going to yeah. think about it when I'm thinking about like, oh. Um, and how your dollar goes a long way too. Which exactly. corporation are you going to give your dollar to? Exactly. That if, if they don't care about the environment, then why? Uh, 
like support that kind of business. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. That, it's like if you think about people like boycotting things, like because she does hurt the people. It, it does hurt, does, right? Yeah, yeah. It does add a, a pack a punch. Mm -hmm. So um, the yeah, the more like you're like oh, okay, doing a little like you just become more like oh, I did that and I do yeah. this regularly. Yeah. Why don't I just do this instead? Why don't exactly. I like exactly. write to my MP? Why don't I yeah. you know like why don't I start my own garden and then have that or why don't I plant a tree and then have mm -hmm. that tree grow and then give yeah. shade to somebody else and like you know. Um, I'm like really advocate for like little small things, little small yeah. changes because it's accessible. That's what yeah, everyone exactly. can do it, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. it's yeah. Yeah, because it's much the question exactly it, it becomes overwhelming for some people when you say let's save the environment. Mm -hmm. It's such a big, huge mm -hmm. statement, but how do you do that? And every, another thing, right, is step, yeah. one huge like uh, daunting thing when it comes mm -hmm. to like studying the about about environmental issues is that mm -hmm. oftentimes we hear in the lens of this is the problem, this is the impending doom, these are the issues, yeah. and we don't ever hear like or often hear the solutions, mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, now what? It's like, yeah. I'm on board, I believe this, yeah. what can I do now? Yeah. So uh, hopefully like our goal, our genesis, mm -hmm. is to show people, these are some things you can do, and yeah. these are some things that you could start in your own communities mm -hmm. and you know, expand what, the work that we're trying to do. Okay, so I, I like eating watermelon throughout the whole year. <laughs> <laughs> and that's okay, that's and, okay. <laughs> uh, it's not going to be in season in the right, winter. Yeah, yeah. So uh, talk about the uh, food market mm -hmm. and how, how important it is for us everyday people, Torontonians or otherwise, to, to support uh, the, their local f uh, food yeah. markets. Yeah, okay, yeah. so okay. so I love, I'm the market manager at York. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like I, I do a lot of different things. We all of us yes. who are like, oh, at our Genesis, we are like, doing a lot of different things. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I also manage the market, mm -hmm. and oh, it's my favorite thing. It's my favorite thing because mm -hmm. the vendors are so sweet. Yeah. There are so many people who come and benefit. Um, so I think with York, especially mm -hmm. residents who live at York, mm -hmm. now that the subway is built, it's a little different. But it's a very commuter campus. You yes, really, it's yeah. hard to get to places to get to your local grocery store. It's difficult yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. um, but and so we started the market in 2013 to kind of like realize recognize that York University is a food desert. The food options there, it's like if you're trying to get a yeah. combo meal or whatever, like a healthy meal, it's very hard. And if you are, it's going to cost you at least ten dollars. That's like the minimum you'd be paying, you know. Um, and it's not even may not even be a balanced meal. So people usually just go for like three fifty pizza or something, you know, yeah. to combat that. But it's like what we want to do is like with the market is to have people have this be their one-stop shop they can yeah. buy their groceries they can get a lunch for themselves that's like maybe yeah. a vegan lunch you try to like promote yes. that right as well so it's like you'll get some vegan food as mm -hmm. well mm -hmm. um uh, which is like you know a less carbon for inviting me uh, as often and um, uh, and then also do you maybe buy some natural beauty products while you're at it maybe buy some honey from a beekeeper yeah. maybe like do these things let me bring these people together who are trying to, who make their livelihood on selling these items mm -hmm. and like uh without like without the use of chemicals yeah. being like obviously local so the transportation costs are lower, yes, um, and yeah, and kind the of dollar goes that. in locally instead of supporting exactly. a company from the other side of the mm -hmm, world. Mm -hmm. uh, that, and it benefits you too because it's yeah. all honestly it's pretty affordable. Yes. it's pretty affordable. Mm -hmm. And uh, something and 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 you always going thinking back. You're like you know who you're shopping from. You know your yeah. this, your seller who your mm -hmm. seller is as well. And that is a beautiful community aspect that yeah. you have too. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to our produce, like we um, our produce is so affordable. Like we yeah. partner with Foodshare and have the Good Food Market. And so what we have there is like we sell pretty much things basically at cost. So you're gonna mm -hmm. get like. Things like almost everything under a dollar. So for example, I want to get uh, a half a pound of uh, apples. So <laughs> I can't really tell you how much half a pound is, but <laughs> but you can get like maybe like a handful of apples for like a dollar kind of thing. Okay, okay. like that's, that's pretty that's good. Yeah. way to show yeah. it because um, yeah. we also. Um, uh, we, we're not for profits, we don't have that much money, so we don't have a scale, for example, mm -hmm. which is something we're gonna hopefully get one day. But so yeah. we do things by item, so yes. it's like apples maybe 25 cents, yeah. and like maybe like, um, like some that. pears more. are like 20 cents, like yeah, that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, so that's more how we sell mm -hmm. it. It's just, yeah, you can directly see it's like not, not ambiguous pounds or weight as well. Yeah, yeah. so um, so that's kind of how, but it, honestly, like if you because we, we're not, we're at the end of the day, we're trying to provide a service, right? Mm -hmm. We're not trying to really make, necessarily mm -hmm. make a profit, we're trying mm -hmm. to provide a service for people. So it's like, come here, your grocery store is probably more expensive is also you have to go travel to it it's yes. right here and we have exactly. a lot of staff people who come there too and yeah. like professors who shop at the market and like benefit from it so it's not yeah. only it's like such a communal communal students. thing yeah. that people do together you you know the person you're buying it from you know the ingredients you know the, how yeah, simple you know the ingredients. it is 
you don't need uh, 20 different items mm-hmm. that, that you exactly. can barely pronounce that mm-hmm. are on the list of, uh, you know, some of these shampoo bottles have like a bunch of yeah. toxic stuff. Yeah. And I'm like, that's like, what it's like, these? what are you putting into your body? Like, yeah. like on your skin, it's still into your body. Like, exactly. What, is, what are you doing? It there? is. The skin is the biggest organ in the body. So exactly. that's uh, how everything yeah. gets through. Uh, Shadia, what I really want to know is uh, how, how, how to be, no, how to, <laughs> how to be involved if somebody is interested into getting involved and mm-hmm. how your your volunteering started. Yeah, yeah. so um, for getting involved, we definitely have like a huge volunteer base because we're basically volunteer run. Mm-hmm. And a lot of that is students, um, but we also have some community members who come in and help out as well. Yeah. Um, the way that um, we get involved is if you go on our website or go on any of our social media. So our website is regenesis.eco mm-hmm. um, and our social media is Regenesis York or Genesis UFT, whatever this university that you want to be a part of is closest to you. Mm-hmm. And just give, send us a message or email us and, and we can give you the resources to like let you know how to get involved and like we have a lot of experiential education where it's like you're learning things and you're doing things on hand when it comes to like communications finances graphic mm-hmm. design uh in event planning yeah. like and also comes to like facilitating like you're gonna host a gardening workshop mm-hmm. you're gonna host a repair workshop yeah. whatever these things are like we have so many cool opportunities mm-hmm. um and even like i want to mention like being a vendor so like if there's any vendors oh, yeah. especially somali vendors get some yeah. somali food or uh for, like, hot lunches <laughs> well, come we need yeah. you yeah. <laughs> and then or even if you want to sell like um, we have arts and crafts we've got baked goods like that kind of thing uh, just drop us a line at the young market at regenesis.eco and that's our email and you can become a vendor through there as well that's amazing um, but yeah so like I guess how I got involved into yes, volunteering yeah. yeah so like I said it was like I was a very eager student <laughs> I was just like what do I join to like because I, I met do the, I, join I, I met some students <laughs> exactly uh, they are that did their undergrad in environmental studies mm-hmm. and then they don't know how to like channel their career-wise yeah uh, but it seems like something is you're really passionate about if you're pa- it's listen, if you yeah. care about it yes. you're gonna be connected with other people who care about it and yes. those people are gonna give you opportunities like that's, that's how true. it goes like and honestly volunteering is so close to my heart because yeah. I still volunteer with other groups and mm-hmm. and when you volunteer you not only you're benefiting the organization or the, what you believe in but you're also benefiting like uh, yourself right because like, yeah. you're gonna be commi- meeting a bunch of cool people who are like-minded who mm-hmm. care about the same things that you do yeah. and then you're also gonna be learning about these skills like for free right it's like you're working for free but you're also gonna be gaining so much uh, so many amazing resources and um, like skills while mm-hmm. you're there mm-hmm. and so I really went into it because I just wanted to give back and I wanted I really cared yes. about the mission and I was like I want to like help I would help this group however yeah. I can I was like here I am what yeah. can I do and then I learned so much when I was there that's amazing yeah. uh, Thank you so much, Adia, for coming to our program here today. And Thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, our pleasure, and our doors are open for you anytime. Uh, our viewers, here you have it, uh, the importance of environment and sustainability and access to food. Um, uh, you can access uh, any of our show through our YouTube channel at Harmaka TV. Uh, email us for any questions at harmakatv at gmail.com. Also, we are on Facebook and our most of the uh, social media outlet at Harmaka TV. Um, my name is Shukri Guchir. Thank you so much for watching. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Harmaka TV.